Hi, I'm Justin Locklear, and this is another episode of Conversations in the Void. Tonight, we'll be speaking with a gallerist who is celebrating the one-year anniversary of her eponymous contemporary art gallery in West Dallas. She spent five years as the director of exhibitions at the Dallas Contemporary, where she brought in groundbreaking artists from all over the globe. Erin Cluley, thank you for being with us tonight. So today, as we're filming, is the one-year anniversary of the gallery. So going back to a year ago, what were some of the contributing factors uh, that led you to create uh, Erin Cluley Gallery? So I had been at Dallas Contemporary for five years. Um, so prior to that, I started to kind of just think about next steps for me personally and in my career and um, you know, continuing down the museum path or um, returning to the to the kind of commercial gallery world, which I was when I was in Baltimore. So, um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I, I had been thinking about it for about a year and um, thinking that I could, uh, you know, that I could do this and sort of enter the scene and, mm -hmm. um, and be, you know, so I set myself apart in a way. Right, and then some, in some of the press when the gallery was first uh, launching, they were mentioning that uh, someone had told you that you were going to open a gallery. Can you describe that? Yes, yes. I was, I was on a trip in um, up in Cape Ann, and we went to Salem, Massachusetts, for the day. And it was the first and only time I've ever visited a psychic. Mm -hmm. And this particular psychic predicted my future and said, you know. I see you with a gallery and a space representing artists. And, you know, if nothing else... Naturally, yeah. It was, it was what kind of lit the fire for me. I'd been thinking about it. I'd been kind of, you know, the idea had been sort of there. But mm -hmm. I thought, let's do it. This is, it's great this to have someone it. to kind of say, Absolutely. like, yeah. Yes. Excellent. So, uh, congratulations, Thank you. obviously. Thank you. Uh, now... A year ago, when you were creating the gallery, how did you see Dallas? And how did you see yourself adding to the scene or changing uh, the world of Dallas art? You know, I think that, I mean, Dallas has such a great infrastructure and foundation as far as the art scene goes. I mean, amazing institutions in both Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, you know, the economy is good. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, in my time with a nonprofit, I saw, you know, the, you know, patrons and donors supporting, and, you know, often if they're supporting the institutions, you know, the galleries are being supported as well. You know, I see uh, galleries like what Nancy Whiteneck has done with Conduit and Barry Whistler, you know, these kind of mainstay, you know, mm -hmm. long-standing galleries. I mean, so there's really a nice foundation here so you know I mean that was a, a big reason that I thought that I thought I, I could do this you know right. and, and could be supported mm -hmm. and so obviously you're the first gallery of your kind in West Dallas so how do you see that uh, bringing the attention of, of contemporary art to that part of the city yeah you know in West Dallas is whenever I was thinking about opening the gallery um, Prior to that, you know, for three years when I was with Dallas Contemporary, I had collaborated a number of times mm -hmm. with right. Butch McGregor, who is a um, just such a huge supporter of and sees the importance of, of mm -hmm. cultural and, um, you know, artistic projects kind of coming into a transitioning Absolutely. area. So we had collaborated with him on murals and satellite exhibitions and kind of empty spaces that they had. So I had a really great relationship with West Dallas mm -hmm. um, before even thinking about opening the gallery. But when I thought about opening the gallery, I thought, I want to be in West Dallas, you know, because not only are they supportive and kind of open to this kind of thing, you know, coming into their, you know, neighborhood, um, it just seemed like the right fit, and it seemed like yes. the right direction to go. Yes. Which is, it is exactly true. I mean, yes. all of the different um, buildings and companies that have been moving in and, uh, you know, delivering uh, have been received with 
a great amount of success and a great amount of attention. And and the and, and the the not only the buildings but you know the the kind of like land around there. It's sort of like a blank canvas, mm-hmm. and and they're you know they are open to things happening, performances, mm-hmm. visual arts projects, public projects. Wonderful. So it's a good fit. So we're talking about the sort of cultural capital that West Dallas is offering, and, and you know all Dallas is offering with the infrastructure and the foundation of of artistic support that people have. Um, now, what are some of the projects or ideas that you are advocating for West Dallas right now? I know that there are a few that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, you know, one of the one of the things that I've wanted to keep uh, ongoing with my program from the get-go is to mount public projects with artists. Um, you know, it it puts their their work that ends up being in the gallery, in the white cube, it puts their work into a different context, you know. Mm-hmm. Francisco Moreno's um, WCD project, which was a, a large car performance in a warehouse over in West Dallas, you know, you see the importance of, you know, people seeing that and then, you know, viewing his work in a different context now that it's in the gallery. Um, so public projects is one thing I'm really advocating for. The other thing is to, you know, um, there's a few little pockets of artists' studios over in West Dallas. And I'm really advocating for more of that to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these little houses um, that, you know, the future is sort of uncertain for those houses. Um, They may be torn down in the future. But in the interim, let's get artists over there, kind of bring some energy to the community. And so that is starting to happen, which is really exciting. Yeah, really applying that entrepreneurial spirit that Dallas has to the capital that we've yet to really utilize. Yes. I really, I really appreciate that. Um, obviously, Dallas is not, uh, you know, um, isolated. Uh, it has uh, a large cultural conversation with both coasts as well as artists around the world. Um, in, uh, as you've experienced it, do you feel like Dallas should be bringing more artists uh, here, or should we be spending, sending more artists out now that this is really a home? Yeah, you know, I think it's I think it's really kind of both. I think it's really important and and great that we have institutions like the Nasher and the DMA and the Dallas Contemporary bringing international artists, national and international artists here and mounting amazing exhibitions because, you know, that is important for the community. It's important for our artists that are working here to, you know, be able to witness that without having to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, on the flip side, I think it's really important for for us to get our artists out and to get them and their work seen in other places. And I think that, you know, with things like the Dallas Art Fair, with things like these major exhibitions that do come through Dallas, you know, mm-hmm. we are a stop. Um, there are international collectors, galleries, museum professionals, they're visiting Dallas. And I think they're, you know, I think that in the last few years, they're really taking notice and, mm-hmm. you know, looking um, at the important things that are going on. And as uh, the Aaron Cluley Gallery builds its programming for the next few years, do you see yourself as a player in terms of that conversation, in terms of getting artists in uh, from the coast and from around the world uh, to Dallas? Yes, yeah. And, you know, it was um, kind of looking at the April April programming mm-hmm. block as far as my exhibition program. You know, this past year I had... Um, I had people from all over the world in that one week during Dallas Arts Week come into the gallery, and it was really exciting. So it's made me think, okay, you know, um, what will I be programming during that time? And speaking of programming, uh, the next show at Erin Cluley Gallery opens this week. Yes. So describe that a little bit for the viewers. Yes. Saturday, September 19th, Mm -hmm. uh, Francisco Moreno opens a major exhibition, his first solo exhibition with the gallery. Um, It's called Slates, and it's over 70 works installed in the gallery. (laughs) And um, amazingly, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but it doesn't feel overwhelming. It's really beautiful in the space. We're producing a catalog in conjunction with the exhibition and right. the gallery's one-year anniversary, so we're really excited. Excellent. Yeah. And we'll obviously have more information about that, as well as the links to the Arian Cluley Gallery website in the details below. 
Uh, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Absolutely. This has been Conversations in the Void. I've been Justin Locklear. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> see, that, see you next time? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, no, I think That's good. Fine. Yeah. yeah.